48-year-old Sarah Stockwell works out for up to an hour, five to six days a week. She does it to feel strong physically and mentally. I run once a week. I also do a, a power yoga class for about an hour and 15 minutes once a week. I swim. I like to do everything once a week. This morning, she and her husband are biking 11 miles. Although Sarah ate a balanced dinner last night, she had nothing to eat before her workout this morning. I honestly feel better if I get outside and move without having something sitting in my stomach. But Consumer Reports says she might want to consider at least a small snack before heading out on such an ambitious workout. Eating a big meal right before you work out isn't a good idea, but if it's been more than a couple of hours, a small snack about an hour or so before you work out can give you some energy. A good rule of thumb to follow, aim for 20 to 30 grams of carbs and 5 to 10 grams of protein. Like maybe a banana with peanut butter, a hard-boiled egg with toast, or a string cheese and a granola bar. High fat or high fiber foods could take longer to digest, so best to stay away from those. And eating after exercise is a must. That's when the body's cells are primed to absorb carbs and protein. Sarah has her breakfast half an hour after her ride. After long, intense workouts, your body may start using muscle for fuel, potentially causing muscle loss. Eating within 40 minutes or so after cardio or strength training restores your fuel stores and supports muscle recovery. Many nutritionists recommend your post-workout meal should have a two-to-one carb-to-protein ratio to restore the energy you just burned. Sarah is having yogurt, granola, seeds, and fruit and always drink enough fluid before, during, and after your workout. At least 17 to 20 ounces of water two hours before, and even more if it's very hot outside, and another 7 to 10 ounces of water for every 10 to 20 minutes of exercise. Doreen Gensler, News 4.